Um, but anyway, yeah. So as the mind grows stronger and evolution, the body grows weaker. And so what happened was over time, the smart motherfuckers took over society because they knew how they they knew um, socioeconomics uh, or or what's what's now called social engineering. Yeah. They figured that shit out in order to survive amongst the physically strong. What are you gonna do if not use your brain and use their brain against them? You know, because they're worried about muscles, how hard I can work. How well I can fight and all of that shit because they're good at it because they're bigger, they're stronger, you know, or just more athletically inclined or whatever. So what happens is those not so evolved mentally men were still um, attractive to a woman's nature. Women are naturally instinctive. So they still cling to that primal, you know, that animal inside of that beast, the, the Cro-Magnon, caveman type of raw animalistic. That's the who we boy. are. The bad boy. Right. They come off as bad boys. Right. Or just, you know, strong guys. Just strong. Just, you know, able the niggas that could build a house with his bare hands or, you know, the nigga that could chop wood or catch the best hunters. You know, those niggas. So if if your brain is super developed and your body is not, you gotta use your brain to survive. And the surviving, the, 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 the surviving brain motherfuckers were the smart ones that ran society. They were busy trying to work their way to the top of, you know, running everything. And, and that's how currency and capitalism came about. Oh, well, we can't tame you with, you know, our muscles. But if we come up with a system that says, okay, well, you work really hard and we allot this amount to you, you work really hard and we allot this amount of you, you work really hard and we allot this amount of you. Now there's a hundred of you. And so you keep 90% of your earnings and I'll take 10. So that's great. You have 90%, I have 10, but there's a hundred of you. So now I have 10 times what all of you have (laughs) put together and y'all don't even realize it. And now we have a system built on money and the strong motherfuckers didn't realize that the smart motherfuckers was running the game. And so what did, what did they do? They said, okay, well, we're not strong like you, but we're gentlemen. So what we're going to do is make it so that we train everybody to be gentlemen. Well, it comes natural to us because we're weak. Yeah. Now, you got to work a struggle to suppress your nature to be like me. And so we've been taught, oh, well, we got to be a gentleman. Why? Because the richest motherfuckers were. We have a system of money. <laughs> so if you want to be like a rich motherfucker, you have to be gentle. You have to be smart. You have to have all of this, you know, these societal, uh, these unnatural societal attributes. And then when the women go looking for a mate, what are they looking for? Still, the raw, instinctive motherfuckers that didn't make it to the top of society because they didn't have that frontal low power. <laughs> they still husky and big strong motherfuckers that's out strong arming niggas and that don't give a fuck about the law and you know they thrive in prison why because a bunch of dumb niggas there <laughs> you know what I'm saying so we all we all fit right in we got the we you know we have the energy we have the 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 uh, uh, testicular fortitude that's what you know that's, like it's a testicular that's yeah because that's what their nature oh, is looking for. But then on the, on, on the outside of it is like, so we're suppressing our nature and we're becoming simps. You know, as a, as, as a community. And we become, it's just being like a natural beast is frowned upon. Even though nature obviously wanted that. You know, nature wanted us to to survive in that capacity. And also nature wanted us to work together, just like any other pack or clan or group or pride, you know, any congregation in in nature, all the animals and shit, they all work together. We're the ones that's like, uh, nope, we want to separate ourselves by class. Clans and control each other. (laughs) Yeah, we want to tell y'all to do shit that's against nature. And so, yeah, so we end up sending and, 
and of course women to survive use that to their advantage yeah. and we never get what we want out of them which is love and loyalty I mean it's um it's not like we can do things how we used to do it because the way I see it is you know the, the forefathers it was war man they, they slaughtered killed raped and took what they wanted you know and that's how things started now because of technology you, you can't just do that in certain parts, you know, of the world or here in America, you can't just... Well, not just technology, but legislature. Yeah, and, 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 Legislation and technology and, is the, um, is how they catch it, they, they, you know what I mean? If it wasn't for advancements in technology, you know, and fingerprinting and, and, um, those special units that, you know, find out, you know, find out how a crime is done and stuff like that, but forefathers took what they wanted you know what I mean and after they did that that's when they laid down those laws the smart laws that will only benefit them but exactly they took what they wanted. <laughs> exactly you know what I'm saying they like all right we're gonna take over we're gonna ravage y'all yeah. and then we're gonna establish anti-ravaging laws <laughs> there you go that's, like, now if you I follow the pattern move. right if you follow the pattern that we used to follow yeah. then we're gonna catch you and and, and, and lock you up. Yeah. And I mean, all of the so-called, you know, dumb motherfuckers in jail right now, you know, that's sort of what they they were doing. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. oh, look at this. This this isn't working for my nature. You know, I need more. What? Drugs? Okay, well, I got to start selling them. I, I need this money. I need to get ahead. You know? So instead of... Capitalism is killing nature. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, man. Uh, you and tell us that we have to we have to have money to live, but we can only get money in the way you say we can get money. Right. So and, we're, and that's, it's, it's that's like the trap. Yeah, it's like ushering that's a mouse trap. through a maze. That's the and, trap. And lead, right? is, is leading a mouse through a maze. It's a good old rat race. Mm-hmm. Because uh, you know a smart mouse will just hop over the wall. Yep. <laughs> that's what he wants to do, but no, you you discourage that. You know, you're making us go through your maze, go your way. And then if we get lost, we just get lost. And then when you figure out how to hop the wall, you know, they put that pressure on you. You know what I mean? And that um, that alone makes people, that, that causes division. You know, because I've been trying to make it for, for forever. You know, and once I get there, you know, there, there's this famous rapper that I met. And somebody was pleading for him now to help me out. Dude said it in my face like I wasn't there. Why should I help him? Nobody helped me on my rise to the top. I don't want to say his name and stuff, but you know, like, damn. And I was like, you know, that was something to think about. You know, but once you do, you know, cross that threshold, you know, there's, there's, you got to find tax brackets, breaks, stuff like that. Even in the bank, you put more than 10000 in the bank. Yeah, you know they want to. They want to know how to fuck yeah, you got they, that shit. They all up in your face. That a similar situation happened to me when um, there was a me. there was a, a a crew of rappers, producers, and, and video uh, producers, and all of that stuff, and they had a tight knit little crew, and I was like just coming up, and I was like, hey. Like, let me ride with y'all. Like, they wasn't famous or rich. Yeah. Not yet, but they were. They had a lot of clout, and they were really making their way. This is before, um, this was bef- before uh, Instagram or anything like that. This is before YouTube, actually. And the bull just told me, like, hey, look, we've been grinding for a long time, bro. You can't just come in. And <laughs> you can't just, you know, come in and be down with us and expect that when we blow up, you're going to be with us. Like, we have been putting in this work for years and years and years. So, we're not just going to, you know, let somebody in and, and, and you know, profit off the work that we done made this far, off the work we did and all of that. I was like, well, I've been hustling for a long time, too. I just want to be an asset. They ain't care. They ain't care. They're like, nope, we ain't letting nobody in. Needless to say, I never heard from them again. I don't I, I recorded one track with them, or two. I forget. I recorded. I, I recorded a track or two with them. So if you like listen to my shit, you'll probably hear them. Hear me give them a shout out. Yeah. But um. Yeah, it's like damn. Why y'all don't just want to? People don't want to collaborate. 
People don't want to help. They don't. They, they don't care. They're trying to hoard all the success and the money for themselves. But I also think that's because of what I was just saying about this rap artist. Is like no one helps you. So and in turn, right. remember I keep saying hurt people. Hurt, hurt people, people hurt people. Yeah. And, and I think <laughs> it's just a vicious ass cycle. Yeah, so I think it's a vicious ass cycle because I'd be damned if we make it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't. I don't know. Um, you know, I wouldn't get weird with you. But I'd be watching who you trying to bring in. Hell yeah. I'd, I'd be skeptical if you were to just you I, know, bring I'm a, I'm already planning on taking a Drake approach. No new friends. Yeah. Nope. If you if you weren't there with me. Yeah, and but the thing is, like, I'll give somebody an internship. Let's yeah, see what like let's see where your head is at. You know, yeah. let's see how you I mean we're, we're gonna have to hire staff eventually and stuff like that. Yeah, but hiring somebody and paying them is different from mm -hmm. letting somebody hop on board and, and reap the fruits of the benefits of everything that we already did yeah. as if they were there. I the, there's people now Yeah, that, that's who, a big fat no. Yeah, there there's people now who I totally am planning on cutting off completely. Did you get this? I think so. Oh, Cheddar Broccoli, yeah, that's mine. Yeah, it doesn't have nothing to make with it. What about these? Those are yours. Yeah, I think these are mine. Yeah. I think I don't Because I was going to ask you for one, and I was like, nah, I'm just going to get the rice. I'm going to do them now when I make the steaks. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's rough to try to suppress your own nature and thrive and, and succeed. But people have done it. You know, it seems distasteful before you make it. So I'm hoping to have a better understanding you know, after I make it. You know, at least so I can feel peace at peace with myself. It's people who implode after they make it. Once again, man, like I said, it's a vicious cycle because it's like no nobody believes in us now. But when we uh, cross the threshold, yeah. everybody's gonna come out the woodworks. Yeah, and, and everybody sees it and everybody knows it, but nobody makes the necessary changes. Like if I was, you know, I'm I'm doing my thing on social media and in music and, and, and entertainment in general. A lot of people aren't. In fact, most people aren't. I want to say 95% of the world does not care to be any kind of uh, influencer or, or a star or anything like that. So... If I hear some a uh, successful person say, "Hey, yo, now that I made it, I'm cutting off everybody." If I may hear somebody on the come up say, "Don't show up when I blow up," you know, don't don't try to ride my coattail after I make it and ask me, "Can we go out and we should chill?" And hey, I, I was always down with you or whatever, whatever. And you ain't support. If I saw that, I would think about myself. Do I know anybody trying to make it? Am I supporting them? Anybody can go on any of my social media pages right now and see that I've shared their shit. I've posted their shit. I've promoted their endeavors. Always. From you, my cousins, my brothers and sisters, anybody that has anything to say or do that they want to get out there, I will go on there and, and, and make suggestions. Yo, I see you got this shit that you're doing. Take it off of private and put it on public so we can share it. Hey, if you want me to make you a, a promo, uh, a promo poster or a digital flyer or whatever, I'll do that for you. Yo, do you need me to make you a Facebook page? Oh, I got a page. No, this is a profile. It's different. <laughs> you know, you got to wait until somebody shares your shit. But with a page, anybody can come visit at any time. I'll show you and I'll build it for you. You know, I'm, I'm admin to a lot of fucking stagnant still pages that I build for people. They never use it. But I do it anyway. Why? I really do want to see my people make it. Like the boy in uh, Notorious said, the big, bro, when you make it, we all make it. That's not an attitude. It's a fact. <laughs> it's literally a fact. When you make it, everybody in your circle makes it with you. You can't avoid that. Yeah. You literally can't. If they are in your circle, then who? that's the whole point of the circle. You know, yeah, you if gotta keep it small, man, I keep mine small. Cause oh, definitely, I keep purpose. my circle small on purpose. I just got finished de deleting a 
half of my friend list. I, I, I already told you that. Yeah. Delete, delete, delete. Today is Easter Sunday, 2023. I ain't getting out near invite to church. I don't even get a virtual invite. Did you get any phone calls? Um, aside from my ex calling me because I texted her about something. Um, but, but no, I mean, you know, nobody, just nobody is keeping in contact with me. Nobody said, Hey, you know, I like your, your, the, the work you're doing on the, on, on the, uh, post or anything. I mean, they, they say it every once in a while, which I definitely appreciate don't get that fucked up. I appreciate every little piece of, every like. Just like my shit. Just show me that you at least watched it. The views go up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's Easter Sunday and nobody say, hey, come to church. You know? Hey, there's an Easter picnic going on or hey, there's, you know, fucking event. Grand Hill Post and all the other stuff we're doing is basically our, uh, our, uh, our journal. That basically is our journal. That's kind of a journal, but that's more of a. I, it, it's to me, that's to me, it's like a master class. I this, mean, I, I feel like that's more of a master class. This is the amount of of, of uh, experience and knowledge I've gained, and I want to impart to put out there in a the virtual world. So you want to show like personal life? Yes, I want to literally go on without my hair done because I, you know, can't afford to get nobody to do it right now. Just say, hey, look. You know, I had a rough time finding a job. I'm staying with a friend right right now. Well, all those people who be like, oh, I was homeless and I had to stay with a friend. That's me. Right the fuck now. Nigga, you paying rent. I mean, I, I ain't staying here. I ain't staying here free. But you know, but you know, I've I've had it like that. And even still, even you still your own shit as a man. Yeah. As a as a man, this is not my shit. I'm not on a you know, I'm not on a lease. Um, I, I I went out there today and watched this um young man in the uh in, in the parking lot just throw trash in the middle of the parking lot. Just threw it out there just and kept walking. And I, I don't yell at people, so I wasn't gonna call them and be like, hey, pick that shit up. You know. But I was like, you know what? I don't wanna I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna be in a environment in a community where people think like that or people raise their kids to do that and the kids don't care. Because those same kids are gonna grow up and be like, oh yeah, well, I, I lived in poverty and I, where well, I lived, it was all disgusting and dirty. Right, you made it that way. <laughs> you did that. Dirty motherfucker. Yeah, I used to, the people used to talk about the projects in that, in, in that same light. Look at where we at, it's fucked up around here. Uh, you are part of that problem. You drink your 40 and then smash the bottle on the ground. You spray paint the walls. You piss everywhere outside and the shit smells pissy. You know, you when you want to serve your fiends, you don't leave a block. You stay right on the block, and the fiends be on your block. Because hey, if the because if the dope if the if the uh, dope fiends if the excuse me if the dope boys left the block, so would the dope fiends. They're gonna go wherever the fuck they gotta go. You ever heard that song, New York? Which one? New York, New York, big city. In oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, Everything that's in New York, York, not always what it seems. Yeah, so I was, I was. Man's you know, on the leg says he's going to jump. People gather around, say he won't. He's just a jump. Yeah, it's like I'm, 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 I'm doing bad. And when I say bad, I definitely appreciate the fact that I have a friend who was able to help me out. I appreciate that I still have my health. I'm just getting over a real bad cough, and I um. You know, I, I, I have free uh, uh, health coverage that, you know, somebody helped me, helped me set up because I tried to get it before and I still couldn't afford it when they was like, oh, it costs $125 a month because you an able-bodied person. And I was like, well, fuck, just because I'm able-bodied don't mean anybody cares. Yeah. I still couldn't get a job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I tried. You know, it's easier to get locked up than it is, than it is to get employed. So... You know, so I, yeah, and I, I was going through, um, and I just want people to see, like, I'm still trying to make it, and I'm still trying to do it. And but be, but before I before I blow up, I don't want there to be some sort of puff piece about the bullshit that I went through. And you gotta show, uh, you you, you got to do a, a Ken Burns pictures of me. You know, and my, and my friends and the shit that I was doing when I was smiling. No, I want you to see me with my face frowned up because I'm frustrated. 
I want you to see what it looks like when I'm having anxiety. I can't even figure out what to do next and end up not doing nothing. I'm tired. I got, I, I might be pre-diabetic. I don't know because I'm not eating right. Let's hope not. Nah, I hope not. I think I'm good on that front. You definitely, you definitely don't want to feel any yeah. even, even the better one to have, which is type two, yeah. where you could just take pills if you don't want no part of it. Done. I, I think on that front, I'm pretty okay. I, I, I do what I gotta do. I don't think it's that bad. But even still, like, you know, the shit going through your mind, you know? right? Like, I, I know I ain't eating the best, and um, I'm dead broke. You know, <laughs> like, so I, I don't, I don't want to say, hey, I, now that I made my first million, I want y'all to know that I suffered. No, I want you to see it now, so that when I do make my first million, you know, whoever followed me there is going to be the ones who followed me there. Y'all don't have to hear me say, hey, I went through the the, the ringer. Nah, you can see me going through it right now, right the fuck now. So I don't have to make up some story about how bad things were. And as they get worse, I'm going to keep posting. Yeah, I might I might give some people some tidbits too. But uh, honestly, like I said, people people just care about the end product. Yeah. And uh, I, at this point in my life, I have nothing to prove anymore. Like, here I am. I know what I have to offer. Mm -hmm. And you weren't there. And I sort of feel like you don't care either. You mm -hmm. just want the end product. So yeah. I'll give them tidbits and stuff like that. One of my songs, you know, becomes a commercial hit or whatever. I started as a lyricist. My first album, The Darker Side of Light. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The darker side of that shit. And um, <laughs> my first album was <laughs> TNT, Trials and Tribulations. Oh, yeah? yeah. That was pretty cool. That was my first album. Hey, when when we first met, that is what was on the stand. When I um, I, I used can't to have remember, a, dog. I'm trying to tell no, Andre because Andre asked, "How you meet?" You know, uh, Rich. Oh yeah. I'm like, we met in the library. We were staring at each other. You know, <laughs> fucking uh, a new times ad. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I used to I used to have it on the stamp. The stamp had my um my initial a big C. And then around the circle of the stamp, it said trials and tribulations. Then it had my MySpace page. Uh, TNT. Why I call it TNT? Because I knew I was going blow. That's what it takes, man. Yeah, trials and tribulations. So yeah, that's that's kind of what I what I want to get into. Also, man, to to help other people that's going through it, because a lot of times people don't have an outlet because they think it's just them. They think they're the only ones, you know, going through it. And it feels bad when you feel like you the failure. Yeah, Every, no, everybody else is. It feels uh, bad when you feel like you're alone. Yeah. You know Every, everybody else is on TikTok and they traveling around the world and they got all these big money stacks, which is um, which is uh, play money, by the way. Because yeah. <laughs> I let me tell you something. Ain't nobody making that much money that don't got a bank account. You's a fool if you walk around with that much cash. A little bit of cash, like a couple hundred in your wallet, is one thing. These motherfuckers really, really? Stacks? You're not in a strip club. What you need all those stacks of hundreds for? It, it's, it is fake. It got to be fake. Otherwise, use a fool. Get a damn bank account dummy for it before I come rob you. <laughs> and shit your security. Yeah, who do you... If you're not paying attention for anybody who doesn't know... This rapper, that rapper, and other rapper all got killed for their cash. Yep. Yes. We are always, no matter how big and bad and rich you are, you're still human and the bullet's still harder than your skull. Yeah, man. So, yeah. I used man. to have an arsenal, man. Like a real life arsenal. I'm talking hundreds of fucking guns, yeah. your weapons, vests, grenades, all kind of shit. I'm, and, I'm um, recording this, by the way. <laughs> and, um, hey, just put it out there bro, before you say anything incriminating. Fucking, you gotta realize it doesn't matter what you have. It only takes one bullet. Just one. Just one. And all that means nothing. You know what I mean? So yeah, like I was, Young Dolph. 
I, I see the, uh, the the the. I mean, it was a, a poster back in the '90s, long before social media. But it had two bones. It said one of them is white, one of them is black. Then under that, it said one of them is rich, one of them is poor. Under that, it was like one of them is a male, one of them is a female. Pick which one. <laughs> like we all got the same flesh and the same bones. They they shaped a little different. They look a little different. But we're all going to die. So with that in mind, while you have your life, take care of it. Stop flashing money around to motherfuckers who kill you for that money. Because you never know. It could be the most studious 43-year-old, six-foot brown-skinned brother that lives somewhere in South Florida who might just roll up on you. Because you got what he needs. Oh. Now, I'm not saying anybody specific. <laughs> Let me tell you, though. It's, it's only in the black community not to bring race in it and stuff like that. Uh-huh. But that's basically only in the black community. Man. And it's sad. It's freaking sad. I mean... You know what's crazy? You, you don't see... I wanted, just now, I really got defensive and wanted to argue with you on that. Uh -huh. And then I had to think about it. And you're right. <laughs> Only in the black community, man. Damn. I don't. I don't see even in music. I don't see Katy Perry and Pink running around busting at each other like Pac. And, and nobody Pink. busting on them. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. People leave them alone. You got beef. See my attorney. <laughs> Ain't nobody robbing Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah, man. And they're enjoying life. Yeah. They're fucking enjoying life, man. And it's a shame to see our people. Did you hear somebody broke into Michael Jordan's house? Yeah, I did hear that. Yeah, this past week. Yeah, man. Somebody broke into Michael Jordan's house. It's, it's a shame to see our people finally reach, you know, that threshold and get over it, and then still, you know, do ghetto shit. Right. Or, or you know, look at Pop Smoke. Like, yeah. I, man. I heard he got popped over. A damn Bugatti that he didn't return, or whatever the rumor is. You, you know what I mean? Or uh. Shit. Or uh, uh, take off. Yeah, it's like you, you just shooting dice. You know, Seems innocent, but you still you still you around a here? bunch of killers. Yeah, true that. Like, why are you why are you gambling with motherfuckers that you could take their money? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get into that. There wasn't still one worth killing a bite over. But even still, it's like <laughs> when you're in the hood, you got to remember, you know, it's still you in the hood. It's not, you know, the hood not just going to change just because you changed. You know, you got to get out of the environment. You can't go back to the same environment and expect that everybody else changed because you changed. That's not how it works. But yeah, I just want to, there's a lot of people, and myself included, that feels like you can't get help and you can't, you can't talk about it and you don't know, like, what your, your next move is because you think you're the only one. You think everybody else got it together because people have learned to express themselves through social media. And when you get on social media, that's what you see. You see people with, with nice houses. I'll be looking, I'll be like, damn, I ain't no homeboy bedroom was like that. They got a bedroom that looked like the size of this whole apartment. You know, and nice TV and with the, with the, uh, with the crown, the, 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 uh, crown molding and, and the uh, tray ceilings he got the tray ceilings with the crown molding where the, everything is lit up and like damn what well, with the tv coming out the floor and shit how did you get to live like that share your secret <laughs> you know but it, 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 and sometimes the case is oh well, they did something that i'm just not interested in doing they sold drugs or they did forex or whatever hey and, and i was just thinking about it this is sort of off topic because we're already talking about it, but the um, the artist that did say, why should I help him? He was at that time, the number one artist. He had the hit song, guard. The hit song. And just, like just, just to give a little hint, to give a little spice to this, um, the artist is from North Carolina. Oh, wow. That's all wow, we know who that is. We know who that is. We know who that is. It's only one. <laughs> it's only one. I guess that gives it up. Well, 
It depends. It depends on yeah, well, how yeah. old you are. But I'm but that days where I know exactly what you're talking about. Dude, right in my face. Like, why should I help him? Wow. Nobody help me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. He had the hit song. Cause, at that cause time. I'll be looking, I'll be looking at these people. They'd be like, um, remember Rampage, the Last Boy Scout? Yeah, I remember. Him. That's Busta Rhymes' cousin, bro. They're oh, cousins. Oh, I know that. Yeah. I never knew that. And it's like everybody got a hook up some somewhere, or at least it seems like they do. If yeah. people if people call themselves self made, I'll be like, man, you gotta show me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, like I need to, I need to see your whole crew. You, it's, it's, it's just difficult now to find people that don't have somebody. You know, they be like, um, uh, and they can uh, put on and get it by themselves. Well, the thing is, is that they say they did, yeah. but they still got somebody. You know, uh, uh, Dion Warwick is Whitney Houston's aunt. That's called nepotism. But the thing is. They, you don't ever see them. I've never seen pictures of them together. Me neither. They, one never credits the other for that's, anything. That's because they're embarrassed for putting each other on. I'm putting on it now. I mean, it's not really embarrassed. It's just kind of you want them, you want the public to think you are 100% self made. And when yeah, like it Diana Ross's daughter, too. Right? I just well, found out recently that. Yeah, but they got the same last name. And they, you know. You found that out recently? Yeah, I never knew that. All Diana Ross's kids is, is on. All of them is on I the, mean, the, the boy. You know, you know who the boy is. I don't. Her her son is the is the, the uh, Diana Ross's son. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah know. he's famous. He's a famous actor now. <laughs> yeah, he's a. I know, uh, when you I see know. that little light skinned boy, you gonna know exactly who he is. Something Ross. Lionel Richie's uh, daughter. Nicole Richie, she had a um uh, that, a show, that, that show with Paris Hilton. Yeah. And then there's um. Yeah, but they got the same last name. I'm talking about people like nobody knew yeah. that Vinny, Vin Rock yeah. from Naughty by Nature. Uh -huh. Look at his face and tell me who he looks like. I don't even he know. He looks just like his cousin Mike Tyson. What? They look just alike, what bro. What the fuck? <laughs> they, and they both have a lisp. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. You know, or, or the Brett. Holy shit, you're right. Or the, or the Brett is what's her name, sister? Um. You know her, who the brat sister? Oh, um, from Players Club, a uh, whole yeah, girl. Yeah, I forgot her, Eve or something, right? No, um, not Eve. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. She's sexy as shit. Shout out if she ever hears this. <laughs> but you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, like I'm talking about those people, like the people who you just, you know, they try to make it seem like oh, they self-made. They came out of nowhere. Yeah. It's just not like that. Like, if I was rich, you best believe I'm going to have pictures of my little baby cousins at my mansion. Yep. So you can't say, oh, you know, you don't know nothing about fame. And you know, I'm definitely going to take my sisters to the Grammys. They don't make music, but so the fuck what? That's my sisters. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't need to have a famous date. My date is going to be my sister's. You know, when you see me on a yacht party and this shit with the cameras and all that, you're going to see my little brother. Why? Because that's my fucking brother. Now, if he blows up one day, we don't have to tell nobody that he had a famous brother. But just the fact that it's true, like, you know, because if you ask all these people, well, how'd you get your start? Oh, well, I was at a party and I met this person who's a mover and a shaker. And then, you know, he introduced me to that person, that person introduced me to that person. And you're not going to talk about the fact that you was at that party because your famous cousin, you was there with them in the VIP section. And that's how you met the next person. They never talk about that. You know, so I, so I want to start a, a, a just a, like a little blog, vlog about how I don't have no connects. And I don't have no startup money. Right. And I don't have no kind of you know angle that I'm that I didn't build myself. There you go. And I'm struggling right now. This struggle is real, and that's what I want to put out there. This this struggle. I have every confidence that I can do it. I have every confidence we can we can do our project together and we can both make it. I have every confidence. There's not a doubt in my mind that this is viable. And that we are, uh, 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 you know, 
I have a billion dollar circle. Even if it's only just psh, you and me, bro. <laughs> you know? You know, we gotta make this shit pop, dog. Even, do, yeah, even if it's here. just a line or a triangle or a square, I, I have every confidence that whoever's on my team, even the ones behind the scenes that they don't want their name out there, we can we can do it. It just takes hard work and sacrifice and this struggle, and I want to be able to show people the legitimacy of, you know, the struggle.